All right, we're gonna show you how to put the uh, set screw in the sear. Uh, this one, I've already degreased uh, the, the threaded hole here in the sear and the threads on the screw, uh, just with some acetone. So uh, this is a real simple job. You're just gonna cock the hammer, flip the safety on. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Loctite on this screw. I like using green. It's not as hard as the red stuff, but uh, it wicks in the threads a little bit better. Uh, green or red will work really well for this. Uh, you do want something permanent uh, because once you get this adjusted, uh, you, you won't have to, you won't ever have to move that again. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the screw all the way down until it touches this, until it touches the surface of the safety lever right there. And you don't want to crank down on it because if you turn too much, you'll see this lift, the sears start to lift up and we don't want that. Ideally, once you get close to touching it, you'll be able to flip the safety back and on. I see I went a little too far because it's kind of catching. So I'm just going to back it up until it moves nice and smooth. And with it on, still doesn't allow the hammer to fall and that is all there is to it you just want to make sure that your safety will flip on and off really smooth if you do it real slow and you feel that catch uh, that, that's that nub pushing up on the sear you want to back that screw out just a little bit more you want to get to that point to where you can flip the safety on and off and uh, when you kind of pull the trigger with just a little bit of pressure uh, the hammer just it, what's happening is you do see some movement here but the entire sear cage is moving and that's okay, just a little bit's expected. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna clean off the uh, excess Loctite there, and then that's done. You should never have to mess with that again.